video. My name is Sander and we are at Charleston Lake Provincial Park. Stick around till the end as I'll exactly show you why you should visit this park next. We made it to Charleston Lake. Right there is the registration office. So there are two lanes here at Charleston, but unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the right lane. Um, there's cones there, so unfortunately we can't go there. Charleston Lake Provincial Park is located three hours and 15 minutes from Toronto and one and a half hours from Ottawa. Charleston Lake Provincial Park has three campgrounds, several interior campsites and a total of seven hiking trails for a total of 36 kilometers. There are two beaches, great fishing and the park is perfect to explore by canoe, stand-up paddleboard, kayak or boat. There is a boat launch in the park as well. The campgrounds are Meadowlands. This campground has a mixture of electric and non-electric sites, bay side, same thing, electric and non-electric, and then finally Shady Ridge with electric and non-electric sites as well, and this is where we stayed. This was our campsite number 356 in Shady Ridge. It was a nice and big spacious site, however there is a tree in the middle, which makes parking the trailer a little bit awkward, and we had to put it in close to the road where it was not level at all. The hydro connection pole is pretty far away, and I think we used about 70 to 80 feet of extension cord. So this is the site next to us, 358. And I've never seen the campsite with a driveway, but this one has one. So the driveway is in there and then the campsite is way back there. Over here is a little trail to the comfort station with of course showers. And here are the showers. I've not seen this at other provincial parks where they have a shovel and a rake. The other nice thing is they are garbage and recycling is right by the entrance of each campground. So no need to drive all the way to the main entrance to get rid of your garbage or recycling. There's a spot there for your kayaks, stand-up paddleboards, canoes. Here's the beach itself. It's nice because it's directly across from some islands. And then there is another spot over there. Where you can also launch your canoe, kayak and stand up paddle board. So the beach itself is pretty sandy, however once you go out of the buoy line, that's where the weeds start. So swimming is great, within, outside it gets weedy. So this is the main beach and also the day use beach. There are some stairs there to get up, there's also where the change rooms are, there's rentals, some storage for your, for your water toys. And then of course the main beach. There is a playground area here at Charleston Lake. Looks to me like it's straight out of the 80s, but uh, at the end of the day kids don't care about that. So there's a play section with a couple slides. These old school guys. The swing set and a sandbox and a teeter daughter. So here's the ball launch. It doesn't look it's very uh, green with algae, so not too slippery. So you can launch your boat right there. The other nice thing about the boat launch is there's benches, there's picnic tables, and there's even a little barbecue over there. So even if you have your boat here, you want to stop here for some lunch, you absolutely can, which is uh, quite nice. So one of the unique things here at Charleston Lake is that they actually have a fish cleaning station, which I've just never seen before. Yeah, you can clean your fish. Doesn't smell the greatest, so keep that in mind.
We're here at the canoe launch spot. This is a very nice spot to launch your uh, kayak, canoe, stand up paddle board and begin your paddling journey. Charleston is an absolutely amazing park if you're into paddling. So if that's your thing, you know, Charleston is a must visit. The other thing about Charleston is the cell reception is pretty much non-existent or at least with Kudo, Kudo and Telus. Now here at the canoe launch, you actually have some service. So if you are, you know, need to get some updates from home, check your email, check your Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, whatever you do, this is the spot to go to. So go to the canoe launch and you have some service again, at least with Telus and Kudo. There is a discovery center. So they do have a discovery program where every day of the week there's something. About 15 minutes from the park is a food place. You can't miss it because you literally drive by it when you enter uh, the road to go to Charleston Lake where we're ordering some food. Nice thing if you go here, there's a little playground. 11 minutes later. So this is the schnitzel dinner. You get two schnitzels and a bunch of fries and it's, uh, it's good stuff. The next morning. Our trip today is we're gonna cut across to the other side, hang a right until we get to the bridge and the bay. Charleston is an absolute massive lake. You have nice rocks like over there. It is pretty weedy, but uh, if you go into the deeper spots, there's lots of nice swimming holes. Going to explore the area, checking out the bay, seeing some turtles. You know what, it's absolutely great for that. The water is very clear as well. So here at Charleston Lake, there are some interior sites as well. As you can see right here, right ahead, there are some, some platforms for your tent. So let's get out and check it out. So we made it to one of the interior sites here at Charleston. As you can see, this is site 504. They give you nice platforms for tents, a fire pit, a picnic table. And last but not least, this view. found a little bay here's the bridge so this is a trail as well um, so besides the paddle insides there are also walk insights and from here on you can paddle the, the little bay so this is just off Charleston Lake but still part of the park this is the floating bridge between Charleston Lake and the bay so this is the trail I'll put the, the name of the trail in the on, on the screen right now because I don't remember we just launched our kayaks over here to check out the, uh, the floating bridge. One hour later. So we found our little swimming spot. As you can see here, it's pretty deep. But then over there, it's pretty shallow. So, which is perfect for the little one. And you can jump in. It's a very nice lake to swim in. You got the islands behind you and nice scenery everywhere. So yeah, it's a pretty good swimming spot here. So we are doing the a trail, it's called the Sandstone Island. It actually looks pretty cool going under the sandstone. So it's about a 2.6 moderate difficulty trail. So let's go check it out. So first of all on the trail here on the right you can see the, the big wall. So 
I think we made it to what's called the rock wall where as you can see it's literally a wall of rock where we have to walk underneath so we're in the rock wall make sure you keep an eye on what's above you because it is pretty low Now once you're going away from the lake, you do encounter this like rock field. This is what makes it a moderate trail. We made it to the lookout spot. Unfortunately, it's a bit overgrown. So this used to be the homestead. So on this trail you, after the homestead, you encounter all these rock statues, I guess. I don't know, what do you think? I think they're kind of creepy. So I definitely recommend this trail. Now, the first part of the trail is absolutely amazing. Lots to see, you go by the water, you see, you see the rocks. Careful where you put your feet. Second part of the trail is uh, just through a forest. We are here in early August. The bugs are pretty bad. There's lots of bug spray, but uh, definitely recommend going on this trail. So let's talk about Charleston. Charleston Lake is a very large provincial park. There's three campgrounds here and there's lots to do. There's two nice sandy beaches. There's a discovery center. There's a playground for the kids. There's an amphitheater. There is a boat launch. So if you want to bring your boat or launch a boat here, it's uh, actually a very nice boat launch. There is a separate canoe launch for your canoe, stand-up paddleboard or kayak for cell service. Not the greatest, very very spotty at best. So if you're trying to you know, work from the trailer or your campsite, Charleston is probably not the park for you. There are some beautiful hikes, but I think what Charleston is, uh, is best for is the paddling. When you take your canoe, stand-up paddleboard or kayak, there's lots of islands to discover, little bays. It's absolutely amazing. You can find some good swimming holes. Now do always check the map first because there are some private islands here even in the park as well so I'm sure the landowner is not going to be too happy with you if uh, you just you know occupy their island. So if you're looking for an additional park that's very similar to Charleston Lake actually not too far away why don't you go check out Murphy's Point which is very similar but has its own unique features so go check it out.